Under this and new this morning, neighborhood watch groups can be a great way to stay in tune with what's going on in your area. Yeah, you've probably seen a few next door, even safety watch Facebook mm -hmm. groups, but there's something many are doing that's putting them in danger instead of keeping them safe. News 13's Catherine Mazone is here with this inside story. Good morning. Good morning, Crystal. Now let's say that there's a prowler on the loose in your neighborhood and you want to alert other families, right? Well, if you're a member of a neighborhood watch group online, that might be the first place you go. But law enforcement says you might want to think twice before you post. Many who use neighborhood watch groups believe they can speak openly about safety concerns in their area. But law enforcement says there are some things you should keep to yourself. Anything that goes online, no matter how strict you think the, the limitations are on, on community pages or whatever, can always be viewed uh, when one way or another by an outside person. We found a post on Socorro Safety Watch, where not only does the person reveal where she lives, she also indicates there's no one else around. While you may want to alert your neighbors to a suspicious person in your area, tech experts suggest you do it with the least amount of personal information possible. What do I do about my door, my car? I live here. This is the exact location of my house. Should I not leave this unlocked? You know, anything like that. That's sensitive information that you really don't want to put out there. APD officer Tanner Tache says if there's personal information you need to share with your neighbors, it's best to do it in person. It's better just to walk out your front door, knock on your neighbor's door. Tech expert Nika Allen says there are alternatives. If your neighborhood association or neighborhood watch program has an actual website separate from Facebook, there are plugins you can add that require users to have a username and password. She says emails are another way to share information, but they're still not 100% secure. It's why the old fashioned way, a face to face meeting, is the safest way. Now, again, even if it's a closed group, there are certain criminals out there who make it their job to get onto sites like that. Now, what's more, once you put the information online, you have little control as to where it goes. Back to you. Great advice. Thanks so much, Catherine. For ideas on how to stay safe online, just head to our KRQE News app or our website, krqe.com.